Next M statement is differentiate between expected loss and unexpected loss and provide example of each. Okay. What is expected loss? L expected loss is a loss expected to occur while in your normal course of business. Okay. And this expected loss is computed in advance and banking entities and financial entities okay what they do is they also provision these losses because they can be computed with relative ease so you can estimate the probability of the loss and so expected loss will be probability of the loss and loss given default so that is your idea so you estimate what is the probability so assuming that you have lent dollar 100 you estimate 2% is the probability that the person will default and in when the default happens let's say the loss is 40 so how much is your expected loss it will be 2 percent of 40 or 0 .08, 0.08 dollar that is your expected loss and so this is computed in advance and the banks they take this loss in their profit and loss statement right so these losses are considered as a regular cost of doing business okay and what these companies they will do is they these, these risks they will price into their product as an example the banks will charge higher rate of interest when the probability of default is high right now what is unexpected loss unexpected loss is the loss which is expected to occur outside the normal course of business okay right and it is more difficult to compute because of the uncertainty involved okay so think about it on an expected value you are expecting a loss to be 0.8 but sometimes a loss can be 0.2 sometimes the loss can be 90 also so this is the variability which creates pain that you do not know what will be the loss right then correlation risk okay so correlation risk you can see that you can find that in example of corporate loan or real estate loan as an example of corporate loan bank has give lend money to the corporate okay, right let's say suppose dollar 100 million now the corporate is thinking that the business will be good and it will repay the money the issue what happens is okay that the economy is not doing good so the demand of the corporate products are low so demand of the corporate products are low because of this demand of the cor low demand is low so the revenue of the corporate is low as a result it has less cash to pay the interest to the bank right so what is happening is that okay you have increase in the correlation okay uh, of this corporate business with the economic uh, macroeconomy will result in the losses to, to the bank right same thing happens like in case of home loan okay right? because of decrease in economic activity demand can reduce price can reduce because of the reduction in the prices the person can default on the loan right and the bank can suffer the loss right so what we are saying is that you should realize that correlation risk can impact your unexpected losses right so because of this uncertainty your unexpected losses can increase right so what happens is if you model this correlation risk into your unexpected losses you can measure unexpected loss with more certainty right you can also do historical analysis and you can find out the losses which have happened due to the correlation risk.